cross. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about reflecting the x-axis. We've talked about reflecting the y-axis. And I overheard Colin made a great observation um, because as a teacher, I like to make connections, right? So reflecting the y-axis, the y was negative, or the x was negative. Reflecting the x-axis, the y was negative. So then I say, well, what about reflecting the origin? And I hear Colin say, well, then it has to be. Yeah, both of them negative. And that's exactly correct. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep on building you guys up. So yes, guess what? If I stay reflecting the origin, the rule for moving my coordinates to reflect the origin is going to be negative x, negative y. Now you might still say, all right, Mr. Going, I understand reflecting the y-axis. That's that nice big line. I understand reflecting the x-axis. That's that nice long horizontal line. But what is reflecting the origin? So that takes me back to remembering the origin, ladies and gentlemen, is that point right there. So you say, well, how are you going to reflect a point? Well, if you guys look at the rule for reflecting the origin, really what you're doing when you're reflecting the origin is you're reflecting the x and you're reflecting the y. So what we need to do, again, is just apply the rules and then re-graph our points. So if there's my three points, and now I apply my rule, so now I have a prime, which is going to be uh, 1 comma 3. I get b prime, which is now going to be negative 3, 4. And then I have c prime, which is going to equal negative 1, 5. So therefore, now I have my three new points that I'm going to want to write down and graph. So you guys want me to pick a new color? Yeah. OK. Wow, you guys were not excited for that one. OK, purple. Oh, so close. All right, so now what we have is let's go and plot our points. So we have 1 comma 3, up 1 over 3, a prime. B prime, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have C prime, negative 1, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK? So what I want you guys to do is look at that and compare reflecting the origin in comparison to what, what it looked like when we reflected the y-axis and we, when we reflected the x-axis. And what you guys will notice, it is a combination of the two. It's reflecting both of them, right? I took this, I reflected it up here, and then I reflected it back again. So that's how we reflect the origin. Okay.